on MetaFam? We are here for some quick updates in today's video. And yesterday was a bombshell of a video. That's right. That's where we went over the legal documents here of the judge giving FINRA time to release the blue sheets or give a reason why they cannot release it. So uh, go watch yesterday's video to get all the detailed information about this document right here. Um, there was an update. Now he says here, they, the court issued a correction on the date of May 30th, 2023 to reflect this year. And that is, I believe, part of right here. We covered it yesterday, and it has right here May 2022. That's what he's saying they corrected. So um, it is official. He says that here they did uh, correct that there. So, <clears throat> all right, moving on. Glass Guy did an awesome little uh, picture here. For a Basile law firm, and here you can see he made Fender an offer they couldn't refuse. The Basile law firm never go against the MMTLP family. Here we have Basile as like the godfather with the cat, uh, kind of like you know what I mean. It is a cool looking logo, man. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, great work there by the glass guy to get that cool artwork out there for Basile. I love it. All right, Paul T here tweeted. We talked about the judge. Um, and the judge in our case here, as you can see, Honorable Sabrina B. Krauss. Now, Paul T. found us here, a little bio on the judge that signed our um, document here. So let me adjust my picture here. And let's give a huge shout out to Judge Sabrina Krauss for helping the MMTLP community here. And here we go. Perfect. Here it says, Judge Sabrina Krauss uh, was born in New York, 1966, uh, Persian Jewish descent. Her parents, Jacqueline and Abby, uh, immigrated to the United States in 1964. Judge Krauss attended uh, Colgate University, where she majored in international relations and French literature, uh, receiving her BA in 1988. Judge Krauss graduated uh, Yeshiva University and School of Law in 1991 and worked as an associate and then a partner for uh, Cougar, Krauss and Bra in 1992 to 2000. Specializing in real estate litigation, in 2000, Judge Cross made a lateral move to the firm of Bora Goldstein, where she remained until her appointment in the House Court bench in 2006. Judge Krauss was appointed Housing Court in 2006 by Honorable Jonathan Littman and reappointed in 2011 by Honorable Gail Prudenti. In 2016, Judge Krauss was elected to Civil Court of City of New York. 2021, Judge Krauss was appointed by Acting Supreme Court Justice for Supreme Court Civil Term, New York County, where she currently resides over General IAS Park. Judge Krauss formerly serves President of Association of Housing Court Judges and is currently President of the New York City Civil Court Judges as well as Secretary for the Jewish Lawyers Guild. Judge Krause has lectured in landlord tenant law for many schools and organizations, including Fordham University, uh, Yeshiva University, and Volunteer Lawyers Project of the United States Army. So there's a quick bio of the judge that has stepped in to, you know, get the ball rolling for the MMTLP community in a step in the right direction. Like I said, we're going to get a answer from FINRA either way. All right. Mr. Dave Lauer. That's right. Now, Dave Lauer at first was kind of on the side of FINRA. He did some research. Now he's on the side of retail and he understands the situation. And we talked about Mr. Dave Lauer in uh, lots of previous videos, actually. And he even agreed that FINRA is incorrect. Well, apparently it seems, you know, we're just going to say there was a hit piece article out on Mr. Dave Lauer. Now, a little background on this here. Um, here we got the MMTLP studio says, um, we got your back, Dave. MMTLP uh, discovery documents we are collecting against our soon to be sorry market makers, FINRA, and SDC is just getting that much more interesting and transparent. Here we got uh, Mr. Mark Basile says, I am a big supporter of Dave Lauer, and you're going to see why that is very important. Mr. Mark Basile uh, says he is a supporter. And here we got Patrick again saying, Laura has spoken up against FINRA's lack of transparency, and he has admitted that they and the SEC have done the MMTLP a great injustice. Now it appears Citadel, GTS, and other making liberal comments that might be considered as threatening, we must protect the truth. 
Now, there was a hit piece article out on Mr. Dave Lauer. And see, maybe it's because Mr. Lauer has, you know, called out FINRA for, you know, being lack of transparent, screwing over to MMTLP investors and other stocks as well. Not just MMTLP, but other stocks as well. Here's this saying. He says, so I'm not a lawyer, but I bet some of my followers are. When a company runs an organized, concerted effort to harm my business and injure my reputation by making unfounded accusations for which they have no evidence, is there a term for that any lawyers want to help here? And here he has this tweet. And those who are doing this to me, again, I'm not a lawyer, but I imagine that deleting your tweets and locking your account won't help in discovery. And man, those emails and texts you've been sending are going to look bad. Um, so here we even got uh, Drew Dillon is here, free commercials. You may want to discuss this with Mr. Mark Basile, just saying his firm and OTC lawyers have processed, nailed down how to deal with social media harassment, libel, slander, and defamation. I can put you in touch with Mark if you would like Dave. So there we go. I don't know. And Mark said that he is a fan of Mr. Dave Lauer. So we will see here if anything comes about this, if we get any kind of court thing with uh, maybe Dave Lauer going to Mr. Mark Basile in the uh, securities attorney. So that'd be pretty cool. And maybe we can get Mr. Dave Lauer to even speak a little bit more on the MMTLP situation because it seems like now the organizations are turning against him and maybe with his expertise, he can even maybe give us more information that maybe we aren't aware of that maybe he would know because he was on the FINRA board. So we will see. All right. There was a space that happened today. It was Busy Brands uh, Space. It was a live conference call with Ham the Short Killer. Talks about the DTCC, GTII, and MMTLP. It's about a two-hour uh, recording. It is a highly suggested. Go listen to it if you have the spare time. If you have a long car ride, make sure you put that baby on play and get some education. Ham the Short Killer uh, talks about the DTCC, the naked shorting, and how the banking systems are going under and how the market's going to be changing here. So highly recommended to go check out that space. Uh, and 100 here says, save this recording. I can't stress it enough. Very viable knowledge, a moment in history, pay attention to the details. And I could not agree anymore. So that's why I wanted to highlight this space call in this video. And speaking of highlighting space calls, I had to give this one a highlight as well. Drew Diligence Free Commercials. Tomorrow, guys, on May the 3rd at 8 p.m., I believe it's going to be Eastern Standard Time, it's going to have a MMTLP fireside chat with Mr. Houston Wade. That's right. So if you want to see Houston, well, you want to hear Houston Wade on the space call here, uh, Drew says, it's great pleasure and excitement that I announced the next fireside chat will be the inimitable Houston Wade. Join us on 5-3 to hear from the rock God himself. So there you go, guys. That is some quick updates in today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. Love and appreciate every single one of you guys. Peace.